That's fun. That's such a fun descending melody. Welcome to my palace. Champagne in your chalice. Even I'm not single follow to me. Tell that a voice so we can to deep. Rolling around the world. Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is Zenobi Warrior and welcome back to my Camp Off Reaction channel. And today, I'm very excited. We are going to be doing the last song on Dreamcatcher's Apocalypse album. We've done each of the solos in their own video because I felt like they deserved them. Um, there will be two more days of Dreamcatcher reactions just because I figure I may as well commit to the full week of Dreamcatcher. Um, just for fun, it's Dreamcatcher week. May as well, right? Uh, so I don't know what tomorrow's reaction will be. It might be the uh, dance video that they did for Mizzou and it might be something else, uh, but we'll figure it out. Uh, also, I want to say, uh, I recently reacted to the uh, something cover that they did for Weekly Idol. Uh, that video is entirely deadly, and Gion, in particular, is unbelievable in that video, and help. Um, so if you do want to see my reaction to that, that's on my Patreon, any tier, including the $1 tier. Uh, you can go check that out, along with a bunch of other stuff. So, let's go. Uh, this is the last song, so it's bittersweet, of course. Playground by Gion. Let's go. coming in some also maybe like a samba drop we have we have a riser that sounds fun and we have like some funky uh like some instrument and then we also have like a samba drum like three things coming in that weren't at all in the tone of the song before Okay, that's fun. Ooh, the string hit, very kind of playful. I really like the, the vocal in the back. Oh, jazz breakdown! Let's go! Boom, boom, boom. Is it true? Is it true? <laughs> Cute! This is really fun. This is really fun. Yo, I can't get over this this build. This pre-chorus is nuts. This pre-chorus is so unhinged. <laughs> the brass notes now. So much fun. Also, new material! The first chorus we had strings, now we have brass. It completely changes the sound and vibe of the chorus while keeping the same energy. I love it, I love it, I love it, I, knew, I love new material, I love new material so much. Gion sounds adorable on the song. Yeah, big difference between the kind of whimsical string hit and the lower brass. That's 
That's fun. That's such a fun descending melody. That's just, I don't know why that's so fun to listen to. I'm sorry, one more time. Money, money, da, da, da. That's so fun. Oh, the little sparse brass, man, that trumpet. What, what? So fun. So fun. This one was so fun. Yo. Oh, that's so much fun. This one is really fun. It's really fun. Love the new material. I love the new material. Praise be to new material. Um, I love how fun and playful the brass is. I love how fun and playful the strings are. Um, obviously, there is kind of this... The, the lyrics are about, like, a childhood playground, basically, right? And so it is kind of this, like, reminiscing on, like, what makes... In this case, what makes Gaion comfy? What makes her feel good? You know, what, what, what brings back the warm fuzzies from childhood, right? That's kind of the the idea here, and it's like that childlike fun. Um, I think it's great. I think it's very well musically captured, actually. And I, this one is so much fun to listen to. Like, this one I think is going to instantly put a smile on my face every time it comes on. Um, instantly put a smile on my face. It's, it is it is so much fun to listen to. It is actually so much fun. Uh, so... Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this one. I had no idea what to expect for most of these, to be honest. Um, and now comes the difficult part of the album, where I rank the songs. <laughs> where I rank the songs. So, um, yeah. I'm not going to be actually scoring. So, like, basically we just use a like, skip, meh. Uh, with the green pen being for favorites, the red pen being for skips, and the blue pen being for mez. I actually already reviewed the first seven songs, or seven tracks. Um, just know Starlight is the only skip. We'll just make a little note here. Uh, and I don't want to go fully into each of these songs, but I will say we will just make note that Locked Inside a Door and Always were my favorites. And this one and this one are right there. Um, the intros are really nice. Okay. Now we got to get to scoring the solos and kind of comparing them. Um, so, first of all, the there's no skips among the solos. I liked all the solos enough. There's no skips. My least favorite of the solos was Dommies. Um, just not for any reason other than pop punk is not my thing and the mixing that goes with pop punk is not my thing so yeah we'll give a little blue little blue x through these uh it's meh it's not a skip if i'm listening to the album i'll listen to it but i'm not going to put it on any playlist i didn't click like um it's okay like i said it's just not for me um as far as my favorite there's two. There's two standouts here, and it's Yuhyun Solo 4, and it's No Doubt by Sua. Uh, these are my absolute favorite songs on the album. These are my two, two of my favorite songs of the entire year. Um, literally, they're in my Song of the Year Contenders playlist now. No Doubt uh, and, and, and 4 are incredible. God tier. My favorite songs on the album, including the first half as well. Um, the honorable mentions i really 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 liked winter i really like all the solos are good like i said except dummies which is a meh for me i really really my next favorite would be winter handong sounds 
gorgeous. She sounds gorgeous. And the outro of that song is so pretty. So pretty. It's so pretty. Absolutely so pretty. Uh, so, yeah, let's, let's just go from the top, all right? We'll include all of these. Here we go. You ready? My number one favorite song on the album. Maybe I should just write with the numbers. Maybe we should just actually properly number them. Number one song on the entire album. One. No dot. First place. Favorite song on the album. Okay. Right behind it? No, wait, I lied. I lied. <laughs> One. Four by Yoo Hyun. One. Four by Yoo Hyun. Okay, number one. Number two, no dot. Right behind it, super close, okay? Number three. Is tricky. Number three, I actually don't know. I actually don't know if it's winter or if it's lock or if it's all this. I actually think it's winter. I actually think it's winter. Okay? I'm done solo. My fourth favorite song on this album is Always, which was my favorite song in the first half of the album. My fifth favorite song on the album is probably still locked inside a door. My sixth favorite song on the album is Shion Solo, Entrancing. My seventh favorite song on the album is Playground. I really liked Gaion Solo. My eighth favorite song on the album is Together. That's right, Together. Hmm, or is it Maison? I lied. My eighth favorite song on the album is Maison. This is going to be a mess to keep track of. My eighth favorite song on the album is Maison, which is great. It's a good Dreamcatcher title track. It's a little bit different, but I really like it. Okay. My ninth favorite song on the album is probably Cherry, or is it Together? I think it's probably... It's probably... Hold on. It's probably... It's probably together, and then Cherry's right behind it. My tenth favorite song on the album is Cherry. Which is a great song, by the way. And, uh, and then let's see. After that... This is when uh, I'm not scoring the skits against these songs, by the way. So the intro and the skit, I'm not giving a score to. Um, which means that, yeah, number 11. Number 11 is beautiful. Like I said, just because aesthetically I don't vibe with it. It's well put together. Oh, well, not red. We want blue for this. It's well put together. For what it is, it's great. It's just not for me. <laughs> 11. It's not bad at all. It's just not for me. And then number 12, my only skip is Starlight. So, should I start doing this for all my albums where I actually make myself rank them? I don't know, but I did for this one. Number 12. Maybe I should do it over in this column. That would make more sense. Uh, yeah. That's my thoughts. That's my thoughts. Uh, great album. Great album. Uh, I really, really don't vibe with Starlight. I really, if you want to know why, I'd go to my reaction, the first part of the album reaction. Um, but, uh, that's the only, that's a skip. When I'm listening to the album, I'll skip it. Uh, and then Beautiful, I'll listen to if I want to listen to Apocalypse Save Us from start to finish. But I won't put it on any playlists or anything. And the rest of these I like. The rest of them are going on other playlists and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, my favorites, like I said, my absolute favorites are 4, No Dot, Always, and Locked Inside a Door. Uh, absolutely incredible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also winter, and also winter. I keep forgetting to mention it, but I absolutely, absolutely adore winter, and Handong continues to wreck me this era, so 
yeah, this has been my album reaction slash review for Dreamcatcher's Apocalypse Save Us album. I love that they each got a solo for this. I think it's really fun to take like what would be a mini album, a nice lengthy mini album, and then tack solos on the back half of it. Uh, each of them felt really distinctive, really personal, and uh, I really enjoyed almost all of them. So thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And please remember... To stay in the big. big thank you to everyone who supported me this month on Patreon with special appreciation going to Wookbook, Daniel Reigns, Muse Ribbons, Nex, Lucky Seven Gen, 42 Ariadna, Atsushi Ray H, Dwight, Mushroomy, Jalen Raybon, and Louise Zako.